Motherwell after their last outing when they'd been dismantled by Dundee United. They were at Rugby Park yesterday where defensive frailties and off-field issues had been making life pretty difficult for Kilmarnock manager Alan Johnston. Commentary comes from John Barnes. With Darren Barr and Jackson Irvin suspended, Kilmarnock bring in youngsters Chris Johnston and Craig Slater. That sees captain Manny Piscali move to central defence alongside another teenager, Mark O'Hara. Motherwell have Sean Hutchinson back after suspension. James McFadden and Paul Lawson return to the midfield, while striker Craig Moore makes his first start for the club, with Henry Anyer dropping to the bench. Clinging. O'Hara getting into a fanko there. It's Moore. And an early chance there for Motherwell. Kilmarnock just not able to clear the lines and Moore unable to punish them. Seeing Francis Angle. Always keen to get forward. Against Clossy. He's done well. It's a good ball in. Sutton's in there. So's Moore. And you're looking for the striker there to hit the target. Lawson. One mistake by O'Hara. Moore's in again. Well, Craig Moore is finding the openings in the Coman at rear guard. It's Crowley's header. There's Kerr. That's Sutton. Great save, Craig Sampson. To deny John Sutton. Concerning times for Alan Johnson at the moment. Gardine linking well with Boyd. Still Boyd. There's a cross come short there. Parried away by Nielsen. Jim McCall side have failed to score in three of the last four matches. Away by McManus. Zangol. It's a good delivery. Ainsworth. He's looking for support in the centre. It's forced wide to Vigers. Good delivery back in by Vigers and Sutton opens the scoring for Motherwell. Ten minutes into the second half. It's Sutton's sixth goal of the season. And Kilmarnock exposed again. Great play on the counter-attack by the visitors. Johnson, lovely shimmy of the feet there in towards Boyd. Breaks towards Gardine. Parried by Nielsen. Tesla. And it still won't go for Alan Johnson's side. Good touch by Michael Gardine. There's Boyd. That should have been the equaliser. Chris Boyd knows he should have done better. A glaring miss from the Scotland striker. Anya. Lovely turn inside O'Hara. And Henry Anya with two minutes remaining. Ties up the win for Motherwell. That will be their eighth league win of the season. And Kilmarnock facing three straight defeats. Everybody's really frustrated because once again it's the same problems right through the middle. Um, the centre-halves have definitely got to defend better.